crude oil is not valued equally. It varies markedly in appearance and properties, particularly in ease of recovery from the reservoir and production of saleable products in the refinery. It is usually black or dark brown, although it may be yellowish or even greenish. In fact, the need to classify crude oil arose because the quality of crude oil dictates the level of processing and conversion necessary to achieve what a refiner sees as an optimal mix of products. Different types of crude oil yield a different mix of products depending on the crude oil's natural qualities. Their density, measured as American Petroleum Institute, or API, gravity, and their sulfur content typically differentiate crude oil types. Crude oil with a low API gravity is considered a heavy crude oil and typically has higher sulfur content and a larger yield of lower valued products. Therefore, the lower the API of a crude oil, the lower the value it has to a refiner because it will either require more processing or yield a higher percentage of lower valued products, such as heavy fuel oil, which can often sell for less than crude oil. Using more expensive, lighter, and sweeter crude oil requires less refinery upgrading. However, the supplies of light sweet crude oil are decreasing and the differential between heavier and sourer crudes is increasing. Using cheaper, heavier crude oil means more investment in upgrading processes. Costs and payback periods for refinery processing units must be weighed against anticipated crude oil costs and the projected differential between light and heavy crude oil prices. Furthermore, the difference in value between light and heavy oil is primarily determined in the market for each type and a widening of the differential generally leads to poorer profitability for heavy oil producers. Crude slates and refinery configurations must take into account the type of products that will ultimately be needed in the marketplace. The quality specifications of the final products are also increasingly important as environmental requirements become more stringent. The original methods of classification arose because of the commercial interest in and recognition of the different types of crude oil and were a means of providing refinery operators with a rough guide to processing conditions. It is therefore not surprising that systems based on a superficial inspection of a physical property, such as specific gravity or API, BOM, gravity, are easily applied and are actually used to a large extent in expressing the quality of crude oils. Such a system is approximately indicative of the general character of a crude oil as long as materials of one general type are under consideration. For example, among crude oils from a particular area, an oil of 40 degree API, specific gravity equaling 0.825, is usually more valuable than one of 20 degree API, specific gravity equaling 0.934, because it contains more light fractions, for example, gasoline, and fewer heavy, undesirable asphaltic constituents. Crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons, often found together with natural gas. The main characteristics by which crude oil is defined are 1. Density, which in the oil industry is usually measured by its API gravity, and 2. Sulfur content. Thus, crude oil is usually described as sweet, meaning low sulfur, or sour, high sulfur, and light or heavy, depending on its density. Heavier oils may also be described as medium and extra heavy oil, although the definition of this latter is open to question. Although the classification of crude oil may be defined by API gravity and sulfur content, this is not the complete story and other methods of classification are available. Only those methods of classification that have the potential to affect the price are included in this course. Other methods are available but are more specific to the scientific aspect of crude oil rather than to the pricing and are not included in this course.